Randy's Megan O'Dell introduces you to a local woman as she celebrates her 108th birthday, surrounded by love. Don John, for many local residents, you may not know that today is Ella May Curry Day, designated by our President Barack Obama, who wrote to Ella when she turned 100 years old. That was eight years ago. I stopped by to try and get the scoop on how to live a long and healthy life. Her name is Ella May, or as her family calls her, Big Ma. Turning 108 years old, July 19th. I don't feel no different. Yeah, you sure. <laughs> it's a celebration that gathered just a few of Ella's nearly 90 grandchildren, great grandchildren, and great great grandchildren. Her daughter's my grandmother. Her eyes have seen more than a lifetime of history, with the eyes of her many family members constantly watching and studying her ways. Big Mom was my master's thesis. So I was able to go through pictures with her and kind of retell her story to a whole new generation of people. According to her family, she's a living legacy. I'm happy to be a generation of her. Now Ella says she has no secret to aging well into her hundreds. I have no secret. I guess the Lord just wanted me here for some reason. I don't know. But uh, I'm still here. I'm on. Things, but, I'm still here. but she may have left out something. I don't know if Big Mom's ever had fast food. That might be the secret that she don't want to give up. A former farmer from Tennessee and a teacher, though it seems her most important role of all is matriarch. She's always been, you know, a wife and a mother and a grandmother and a great grandmother. A woman with ageless wisdom. Spend time with your loved ones. I mean, not, a lot of people aren't blessed to get a family member 108, and she has, like you said, so much information. Time is short, so love heart, and um, she definitely encourages me to, to do that. And countless smiles. <laughs> that is good. It has not been determined if she's the oldest, but we can say that Ella is one of the oldest living residents in Illinois. I'm Megan O'Dell, WAND News.